This moisture helps us out. Alana, exactly. And it's crunch time for the mountains, so we need this system to really help us as we are still dependent on our snowpack level to really still get boosted. But how does all of this wet weather end up helping us out, and why hasn't it gotten us out of this drought just yet? There are many ways of looking at drought, from a meteorological point to agricultural and even hydrological. A hydrological drought deals with a lack of water in storage areas like reservoirs, lakes, and aquifers. We're looking sort of at our storage because we do use so much of our storage and last year we used a lot of it because we didn't get any and so we just had to rely on that storage and so now it's down and we want to build that up again. Our periods of dry then wet weather have not been the best for replenishing our storage system. Typically we would see the steady increase in our snowpack and so to see these roller coasters, we do need to see that like big increase on certain times so that we can make up for those dry periods just to get it to normal. And then we're also recovering from last year where our reservoirs are about 10% lower than we would normally see them. Meaning that we still need more snowpack to help replenish our below average water system. Luckily, we are in a much better place to have the spring runoff make it down to our reservoirs compared to last year. Last year we were record dry in our soils and so as the snow melted it just soaked right into the ground and didn't make it into our streams. And this year our soil moisture is a lot higher so the snowpack that we do have will make it to our reservoirs. While we continue to see more wet weather, this pattern must continue to boost our snowpack and help us replenish those reservoirs that are in dire need of it. Live in Salt Lake County, meteorologist Cesar Cornejo, ABC4 News.